from Tampa Bay Streaming News Leader. This is ABC Action News. We're tracking some chilly temps following us into Christmas. Hello, I'm Isabel Rosales. Chief Meteorologist Dennis Phillips has Florida's most accurate forecast in just a moment. But first, here are your ABC Action News Now headlines. We expected it to happen, and now it's official. The Food and Drug Administration just approved a second COVID-19 vaccine for emergency use. Now Moderna's vaccine can be distributed into the U.S. along with Pfizer's. The FDA's commissioner says with the two vaccines now approved within the span of about a week, the U.S. is taking a crucial step in the fight against the pandemic. Data from a late stage clinical trial shows Moderna's vaccine is more than 94% effective in preventing COVID-19 and it's safe. Hillsborough County deputies say a gunman shot a man dead after a holiday party in Thanoto Sassa. Witnesses told deputies people were fighting in the parking lot of ASI Landscape Management Friday afternoon. That's off Harney Road. At some point, we're told someone pulled out a gun and shot a man dead. Deputies say it's an active investigation, but haven't told us if they have any suspects or arrests. Three people are recovering after their small plane crashes near Tampa International Airport. The charter plane burst into flames in the middle of the street, but the three men inside were able to make it out alive. At last check, they're at Tampa General Hospital. Dennis. Hey, doing everybody? Skies are clear. We started Friday with wind chill advisories in Pinellas and Pasco County. Temperatures remained chilly under sunny skies and overnight skies remain clear. Come wake up time, most of us in the 40s, although I'd still say mid to upper 30s are a pretty good bet across Citrus, Hernando, Pasco, and also Sumter counties and maybe a little bit of frost in a few spots as well, especially along the coast and then inland mid to upper 40s from Avon Park over to Lake Placid back to the upper 40s Bradenton over to Venice. So our forecast right on through the evening skies remain clear. Temperatures cool Saturday. We start to warm up in the afternoon mid 70s and then another front comes in on Sunday afternoon with another chance of rain and an even stronger front on Christmas Eve could set us up for a very chilly Christmas.